Hey everyone, Gary from the Band Elysiums back once again on my channel, Gary of the Elysiums. Uh, so far I did two parts. This is part three of my complete CD collection. But before you watch this video, please hit that subscribe button so you can get updates on every time I upload a video like these and many more. So we're gonna get right into it. Uh, we left off on part two, which for some reason didn't, uh, the picture quality didn't upload as great as it should have. So I apologize for that. But we were back to 4K on this one, so we should look better. So last video, we went uh, from B, Blackfoot, and we went through all my Cs. So I'm just going to turn this a little bit. So we're going to start with D. Uh, we get right into it right away. And the first one I got Ds is Damage Plan. Obviously, the uh, Abbott Brothers, Dime Mag Daryl, and Vinnie Paul. They're at the uh, album they put together uh, at their Pantera, which, you know, tragically... Uh, Dime was murdered on stage performing with that band. Here we have Damn Yankees, a super group featuring Jack Blades, Tommy Shaw, Ted Nugent. Danzig's debut album. The Darkness, Permission to Land. Now this one's pretty cool. I like throwing this all once in a while. It's kind of that, you know, post grunge uh, acoustic stuff. Days of the New, their uh, self titled debut album. And here we're going to get into my favorite death metal band and the, probably the first death metal band if you don't count um, Possessed, Death, Scream Bloody Gore, Leprosy. These are all the uh, two disc remastered editions that uh, Relapse Records did which are really good spiritual healing. Uh, probably my least favorite death album but I always love the cover art. I like the colors, the way the blue blends there. My favorite album by Death human uh this one individual thought patterns this one here is symbolic uh released in 1995 when this was released by uh roadrunner records the only one that um you know death the the state of death and uh re relapse their own and unfortunately roadrunner records are just keeping this uh, hostage i guess but this is a 2008 remastered uh has five bonus tracks on it which are demos and the last time they put up really technical death metal amazing stuff the guitar work here is insane the sound of perseverance okay next we have uh death cab for cutie this is plans and this is narrow stairs and now we're going to get into my deep purple collection which is you know pretty big decent size we got the debut album shades of deep purple and this is the actual cover here on some of these remasters so i just kind of flipped it so I kind of like the way this looks better. Uh, same thing with this, the Book of Talzin. And then we had the self-titled uh, album they put out third. And there's the uh, actual cover there. Oh, it's stuck there. Right. Uh, I did, do a, did a ranking of my um, Been ranking with Deep Purple uh, videos not that long ago, so a lot of these you've seen before. Deep Purple and Rock, this is the uh, remastered edition. Uh, Fireball, anniversary edition. We got the actual cover there, I keep it in the slipcase. Machine Head, made in Japan, the, the uh, standard version. Who do we think we are? Remastered. And first album they did with. Uh, one used David Coverdale burn. I think Deja Vu, like I just talked about them for some reason. Uh, Stormbreaker. I think I did a top 10, I believe. Made in Europe as opposed to made in Japan. This one featured the uh, Mark III lineup. Come Taste the Band. By this point, David Coverdale is out of the band. I'm um, not David Coverdale. Richie Blackmore is out of the band. Uh, Tommy Bowen on new guitar. Amazing guitarist whose life was cut short. When we rock, we rock, we roll, we roll. This is a basically a greatest hits compilation. Perfect Strangers, the return of the uh, Mark II lineup. House of Blue Light. Nobody's Perfect. This is a live album from the late 80s, the Mark II era. And here we get the rest of the Deep Purple I have here. Uh, this is Slaves and Masters. The Battle Rages On. The last album to feature Richie Blackmore, which I think is a really good album, but 
He hates it. I don't know why. I think it's decent. It's perpendicular. This is abandoned. Really cool heavy album. I love this. Um, any fool know that. I was human too first. Tracking here. Any flow little songs. Rapture of the Deep. Now what? And this is live uh, from Long Beach, 1971. I don't own. Uh, I didn't get the last two. Uh, Whoosh and who was the other one before that? Infinite, I believe. And Bananas, I don't know. So I got third of three. I, I'm missing. Now we're gonna get into Def Leppard. These are the remasters uh, on through the night and the remastered high and dry. And of course, Pyromania, these three are amazing. Answer that, uh, Hysteria, even though it's a huge seller, basically reads like a greatest hit CD. I'm not that big of a fan of it. Uh, this is Adrenalize. Tried to, you know, replicate Hysteria, but without the hit singles. This one's just not good, Euphoria. This is a uh, Rock of Ages definitive collection. This is a two disc set. And this is the last sound they put out. This was self-titled. I got this at FYE for like 99 cents on, a, on um, it said used CD, but they had a bunch of them. They had like 20 of them. I guess it was like a overhaul or something. So anyway, I just grabbed it because of the price, but I don't even know if I listened to it yet. Uh, some more new metal. It's one of Pioneer's new metal. This is uh, Death Tunes with Adrenaline. Then we have Around the Fur. I love this album when it was out but not as much as this one when this came out this is white pony <coughs> excuse me then we had their self-titled album death tones okay now we're getting into some depeche mode with uh this is people are people this is i believe this is more of a compilation we have catching up with depeche mode which is re-released as the singles 81 to 85 music for the masses uh one of my favorite albums violator Songs of Faith and Devotion, Ultra, and this is uh, the singles 86 to 98. Uh, before I get go through these, let's just move you around a little bit again, so you get a better uh, view of the CDs I'm showing you. All right, we got Derek Domino's Layla, another story of love songs. Rick Derringer, All American Boy, Descendants. Mother Goes to College, Demu Bourger, Enthroned, Darkness, Triumphant. Yeah, kind of weird to see that band in there. Uh, not that there's anything wrong with them, I do like the band. Um, but just sandwiched where it is between uh, Descendants and this band. Dinosaur Jr. with Green Mind and Dinosaur Jr. Where You Been. And now we're getting some Dio. His debut album, Holy Diver. The Last in Line. Sacred Heart, Intermission, kind of the uh, live EP there, Dream Evil, Lock Up the Wolves, Don't Know Strange Highways, uh, I owned it at one point, uh, but I need to get that again, that's one they didn't remaster, it's out of print, as this is out of print, but this is available, it's remastered, but this is original copy, Angry Machines, Very Beast of Dio. Obviously, it's the best of. Killing the Dragon. Awesome album from uh, 2000. Or was it 2000? 2002, I think. Uh, Evor Divine, live in New York City. Live, uh, this is two disc, I believe. No, it's a single disc. Uh, this is the double disc. Holy Diver Live. But this is recorded in 2006. Uh, I believe it was actually recorded. Not, it was released 2006, but I think it was recorded for them. And this is Finding the Secret Heart, uh, live in Philly, my hometown, 1986. Dire Straits, we have uh, Making Movies, Colors and Arms, and a compilation just called Money for Nothing. All right, we're gonna come back over this side. Yours, get a better view here. Yeah, there we go, that will be good. Where are we at? We're right here. Disturbed, the sickness. And then believe by disturbed. We have some docking with breaking the chains. My favorite by them, their debut album. Tooth and now. Under lock and key. Back for the attack. And this is uh, this is called One Live Night. Kind of an acoustic, uh, almost an unplugged concert. 
by Daka with the original members. Okay, here we got some Doobie Brothers with their debut album, simply called the Doobie Brothers. Tool House Street, Captain and Me, What Were Once Vices Are Now Habits, Take It to the Streets. And for some reason, Stampede is like out of print, possible to find. Um, my local CD store has it on back order, so as soon as that comes in, I will own that. Best of the Doobies. Minute by minute. Uh, this is the Best of the Doobies Volume 2. This is the Farewell Tour. Obviously, it's a live CD. Uh, this is Cycles. The reunion of the original members in the 1989. And this is a uh, live from the Beacon Theater. One night, two albums, where they do Toolhouse Street and The Captain and Me uh, in full. And then they do an encore with Take Me In Your Arms, Blackwater, and listen to the music, a reprise of that. Okay, getting in one of my favorite bands here. The Doors. Their self-titled debut album. Strange Days. Waiting for the Sun. Probably my favorite by The Doors. Features my favorite song by The Doors. Uh, um, wow. Not Touch the Earth. <laughs> the Soft Parade. Love this album. You know, it gets a lot of shit. It's a good album. Mars No Tell. LA Woman. And The Big Old Brick. Uh, Best of the Doors, which I've had for, you know, 25 years. I've owned that one, probably. Got some more by the Doors. This is uh, Live at the Hollywood Bowl. In concert to the set. Features uh, Absolutely Live. And then some other uh, stuff. Soundtrack from the Oliver Stone film. Uh, Essential Rarities, which is basically came from the a lot of stuff in the box set, which uh, I I have a lot of box sets. So well, not I don't have many, but I'll be showing them box sets in one of these videos, probably towards the end. Uh, last one I have by the Doors. This is Live at the Matrix, 1967. We have Down, Nola, Down Two, Bust on Your Head Grow. Obviously, Down is uh, Phil and Summers Band with Kirk Weinstein, uh, Pepper Keenan, Rex Brown plays on it. Dragon Force, Inhumane, Inhuman Rampage, amazing guitarist those guys are. Nick Drake, Five Leaves Left, Don't Have Briar Later. I don't really like the orchestration on it, but I'll probably grab it whenever I see it again. Um, Pink Moon, amazing album. And this is a compilation, this is Way to Blue, an introduction to Nick Drake, so it is what it says it is an introduction. Uh, Dream Theater is a band I never really got into, so I just... I never really gave them any, any a chance, so I just uh, picked up these not too long ago. Images and words. Uh, these were like a buck a piece, uh, which I know was a steal to get that. And then train of thought. Uh, I saw Mike Portnoy himself say this is you know probably their heaviest album, so I'm gonna check this out. Okay, next we're gonna get into the Dylan section. Dylan obviously has a lot of uh, releases, and he's one of my uh, favorite artists of all time. So we have the debut album, the freewheeling Bob Dylan. Times they are changing. Another side of Bob Dylan, bringing it all back home. One of my favorite albums of all time, Highway 61 Revisited. Another one of my favorite albums of all time, Blonde on Blonde. Bob Dylan's Greatest Hits, John Wesley Harding. Some of these uh, digipacks are the uh, Super Audio uh, re releases that came out in 2003. I believe they came out between 2002, 2003, 2004. Nashville Skyline. This is a self portrait. Gets a lot of hate, that album. New Morning. Bob Dylan's Greatest Hits Volume 2. And the soundtrack to the film Pat Garrett and Billy the Kid. A uh, really cool uh, album. It's got uh, Knocking on Heaven's Door on it. But the instrument instrumentals on here are really cool. Planet Waves. Before the Flood, which features uh, Bob Dylan and the band live some tracks by just the band on there blood on the tracks basement tapes uh desire love that album at budokan double disc live still on our dome here street legal slow train coming saved this is infidels empire burlesque Dylan and the Dead. I put this. Dylan comes first, so I put this under Dylan, not the Grateful Dead. Oh Mercy. This here. 
good as I've been to you. This is his 93, kind of a really, really folky album. Bob Dylan's Greatest Hits Volume 3. Bob Dylan MTV Unplugged. Time Out of Mind. Love and Theft. Man, these are cool. These are called the Bootleg Series. Uh, I had the first three in a box set. This is Bootleg Series Volume 4. Live in 1966, the Roy Albert Hall concert. Uh, live 75, the Rolling Thunder Review. And no Direction Home, the soundtrack to the Martin Scorsese film. And these are all double discs, but they all have a thick, cool booklet in it. And the last two I own of Dylan, Modern Times and uh, The Cutting Edge, best of, best of The Cutting Edge, 1965 to 1966. So that's the era here where he's um, between Bring It All Back Home, Highway 61 Revisited, and Blonde Old Blonde. Yeah, that finishes up with the D's and we're getting right into the E's. And we start with the Eagles, their debut album, Desperado, On the Border, One of These Nights, Eagles Greatest Hits Volume 1, or their greatest hits, Hotel California, The Long Run, Eagles Live, Double Disc, Eagles Greatest Hits Volume 2, Hell Freezes Over, and this is the last studio album they put out, which is really not that good, Double Disc, Long Run Out of Eden, um, it's, just, it's just too long. And to finish out with the Eagles, this is uh, live from the forum, uh, 2018 two CD track. Um, Target exclusive came with a tour replica, which I have hanging over there, kind of like a backstage pass. Uh, two disc set, features Vince Gill on there and um, Glenn, Frey's, uh, Glenn Fry's son, I forget his uh, name. Something Fry. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna move over a little bit. Let's see here, where can we get it at? All right, let me get a good view of everything. Okay, we have uh, Echo to Bunny Man. Songs to Learn and Sing. I went through a phase where I was listening to all this dark wave stuff, so that's where some of this stuff comes from. Electric Light Orchestra, El Dorado. Face the Music. A New World Record. Out of the Blue. Discovery. ELO's greatest hits. It's kind of crazy as I'm going through this stuff, I don't realize how many greatest hits I have as a guy who always says I'm not a greatest hits guy. And we have Elf, debut album. This is uh, Ronnie James Dio's first ever band. And then we have uh, two releases for my band. This is the Elysium's Heartless. Um, this we do sell on CD. And this is our follow up. I made this for myself Live at Broken Goblet, Sick Again. These are both available. Uh, this is available on our website for purchase along with our Facebook page and all that. But these are all available on uh, Apple Music and, and Spotify if you ever listen to it. Especially this, because this wasn't ever released on CD by us. All right, now we have Emerson, Lake, and Palmer with their debut album, Tarkus, Trilogy, and of course, Brain Salad Surgery. Europe, The Final Countdown. This is Evanescence, their debut album, Fallen. We have uh, Everclear, Sparkle and Fade. Everclear, so much for the Anthrogal. These were huge in the late 90s. Uh, Everlast. Songs. Whitey, Whitey Ford sings, sings the blues. It's been so long since I listened to that stuff. I would like to get rid of it though. Exodus, Bonded by Blood. Uh, this is the censored cover, not with the two babies. Fabulous Disaster, Backs of This, Extreme 2, Porno Graffiti. And I'm probably just going to end up with the uh, NDFs on this video. And we have The Best of Faces, uh, Go Boys While They're Asleep. Faith No More, The Real Thing, and Faith No More, Angel Dust. Faster Pussycats debut album and their follow up, Take Me When It's Over. Here we have Fastway. Fast Eddie Clark's uh, band there. Fear Factory, The Manufacturer, and Fear Factory Obsolete. Let's see if we get a better view for everyone. And Filter, Short Boss and Filter, title of record. And Firehouse's debut album from 1990. 
we're getting some Fleetwood Mac. We have Mr. Wonderful. Uh, Pious Bird of Good Omen. Pious Bird of Good Omen, however you say it. Uh, the self-titled album, the first one to feature Stevie Nicks and Lindsey Buckingham. Rumors, obviously a classic. And we have Tusk, the uh, not-so-great follow-up to Rumors. Tango Tonight. Greatest Hits. This is from like 89, I believe. Or 88, 89, Greatest Hits album. Behind the Mask. Uh, this is really not that great. Doesn't feature Lindsey Buckingham. The Dance. Uh, the reunion of the you know Nick's Buckingham era. Uh, Peter Green's Fleetwood Mac live to BBC to this set, and the last studio album they put out, Say so You Will. Here we have great prog band focus with Moving Waves. Helped by John Fogarty. This is Premonition, uh, solo live album, and The Long Road, the ultimate John Fogarty Creedence collection. So it's a lot of stuff from Creedence Clearwater Revival and also his solo career. Kind of greatest hits. Foghat, their debut album. Foghat Fool for the City and Foghat Live. We have the Foo Fighters. Uh, I'm not as big of a fan of these, but somehow I own everything by them. Their debut album. Uh, the Color to Shape. This is the, I think, the 10th anniversary uh, remastered deluxe edition. Uh, there's nothing left to lose. One by one, this is a double disc. I think the second one is a DVD. In Your Honor, that was a two, two disc album. Skin and Bones, this actually is another two disc that comes with a, um, a sampler of the DVD, which has a couple tracks on it. And this is Echo, Silence, Patience, and Grace. And a couple more, we got four more Food Fighters. Greatest Hits. Wasting Light, Sonic Highways, and this is the Concrete and Gold. Uh, the last album they put out, I'm not really, I didn't really like anything that I heard, so I didn't buy that. We have Farner's debut album. This is uh, Double Vision by Farner. Head Games. Four Records, which is basically their greatest hits, and I don't really, I'm not into anything else. Uh, Partners did after that. Here we have Fozzy, which is Chris Jericho's band, uh, the debut album, which is just, uh, it's like Chris Jericho with Stuck Mojo, and it's basically just covers of all like classic 80s metal stuff, harder stuff, though, not really any hair metal. Uh, we got Frampton, Peter Frampton, just the album's called Frampton. Of course, we have Frampton's Comes Alive. And a couple more for F here. Free, Fire and Water, great album. All right now just never gets old for me. Ace Frehley, Origins Volume 1, and we have Volume 2. Um, they're basically just covers albums, and I love when some of my favorite artists do covers. Ace Frehley, my favorite member of Kiss. Kiss, one of my favorite bands of all time. And end with F, this is uh, Fuel Sunburn. Not really a fan of Fuel after this album. So yeah, everyone, thanks for watching. Uh, we did uh, basically B through F, and part four, we'll be starting with G's. And um, as always, I appreciate everyone watching. Please subscribe, please support my channel, and leave in the comments if you made your own video of your collection. I'd put the link, I'll check it out. Uh, thanks for watching. See you in the next video.